What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be demonstrating how to view all open windows and how to multitask on a Chromebook tablet. Now this video is useful if you're currently using an Android tablet and you want to know how this function works on a Chrome OS tablet. In a previous video, we unboxed and reviewed the Lenovo Chromebook Duet 5 that you see here, and we'll be using this device to perform this tutorial. Now this video is featured on the Chromebook Chrome Base playlist, so you can find information related to this topic quickly and easily. And in upcoming videos, we'll be talking more about Chrome OS. As always, we only feature products or services I buy use or I'm interested in. Now you can find the Lenovo Chromebook Duet 5 and other related items at the Amazon storefront link in the description below. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So first let's talk about how to view all open windows. But before we do so, I wanna pop in some snippets here about the Lenovo Chromebook Duet. And you can see we've got this nice viewing angle because of the kickstand here. And of course, again, if you're more interested in this device, you can click on the card in the corner of this video. Now to view all open windows, once you have open windows, of course, you're going to swipe up from the bottom of the display. And this is going to show you all your open windows. Now you can exit this multi-window view by tapping anywhere outside of the multiple windows listed and that will bring you back to the home screen. So let's go back into multi-window view. I wanted to try something here. I wanted to see if I could organize or reorganize these windows by tapping and holding and seeing if I can drag around. Unfortunately, this isn't something you could do. I'm not entirely sure it would be useful, but just something I was thinking about, maybe we would like to see in the future. Maybe we would want to rearrange the order of these. Not really sure. Let me know in the comments below if that's something you would want to do. Now, once we have a view of all our open windows, we can actually close any of these windows. You can see we have an X in the top right hand corner of each one. So let's tap one here and close it. And there we go. You can see there is a little bit of animation. It kind of spreads the windows out a little bit more. Now here's the part of the video where we talk about multitasking and multitasking allows you to essentially snap two windows next to one another so that you can use them both at the same time. So we're going to press and hold on the first window that we would like to choose from and this will be the Chrome browser. I'm using Duolingo here. So we're going to tap and hold and you can see things change a little bit and we could drag this window either to the right side or to the left side. It really just depends on how you want to view this app or this window, this kind of program here. And then we would choose our second app that we want to use for multitask. We're going to go with Stadia. So we're going to press and hold, and then we're going to drag it to the available side, which in this situation would be the left side. You can see we get a little animation, and then we would just let go. And now we have both apps snapped right next to each other. And here we can actually use them. We can change between them. This is multitasking. Now changing the size of the windows vary on if each window is resizable, either in the smaller way or in the larger way. So for example, if we tap and hold on this slider, we're going to try to make Stadia larger but that makes Duo smaller. And I would ideally wanna leave it there. If I let go though, you're going to see it's going to rebound. It looks like we can't make Duolingo any smaller. But if we try to go the other way, you can see that we can make Stadia smaller and Duolingo bigger. The other thing you'll notice here is as you try to make changes here to the size one side becomes a little more grayed out or if you go the other way one page starts to slide out so it kind of gives you a warning that you've reached the limitations in a sense now we can switch between multitask and windows fairly easy simply pick the side with the window that you wish to close that you're going to trade for another so for example let's say that i want to get rid of stadia for another window. I'm going to pick this side and I'm going to swipe up on it. Might take a few times there and I'm going to drop it in. 
And then we can pick Snapseed by tapping on it. And you can see now we're multitasking with Snapseed and the Chrome browser with Duolingo. Also of note, if an app supports multitasking, you can actually pull it from the taskbar that you see here at the bottom. So let's demonstrate this. We're going to get rid of Snapseed. We're going to drop it in there. And then I'm going to look for Google News and we're going to tap on that. And you can see that's going to pull Google News up right next to the Chrome browser again. And finally, if you wish to take a window full screen, just simply use that slider, press and hold, and then drag it all the way open. That will make the window that you do want to see full screen, full screen. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the content. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or I would like to buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way you can support us is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can show your support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are your ways to vote on if you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching, and listening to. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out. Yeah.